Penny, because Rod, I've known him a long time, and he is a gentleman, isn't he? He certainly is. He, he loves to be a gentleman with He's ladies. He's a perfect example of how you should respect not just women, but people in general, mm. and be kinder and nicer to one another. He even emailed me yesterday. <laughs> Hello, me old peers. Tomorrow morning, my dear wife is dragging herself out of our cosy bed at the break of dawn to join you on the couch. Admirable. Please try and give her more than 30 seconds. <laughs> Oh, yes, the up the Celtic and up the Gunners for Rod. <laughs> um, but actually, even then, he was thinking of you and just, you know, really being a gentleman. Yeah, it's just it's just kindness. It's just spreading a little bit of respect mm -hmm. and, and love, you know, Rebecca, which the world needs, I think. This is feminism gone too far. Um, Why are you trying to ban gentlemen? I mean, it's just my job banning stuff, isn't it? I just love banning things. <laughs> um, no, OK, so I don't know Rod Stewart, unlike apparently everybody else here, mm. but um, I'm sure he is a wonderful man, but he's not a great guy because he's a gentleman, he's a great guy because he's a great guy. And my problem with it is it seems weird to slap a gender on a certain set of uh, characteristics because we should all be aiming to be decent, kind, supportive and loving. And I think it's really unfair that men are expected to be the ones who do all the caring and providing, when in reality, in a relationship particularly, both genders should be doing Has that Has it crossed your mind that we'd like to be the hunters and providers and gentlemen of life? I and that lots of women like their men to be like that? They don't actually buy into this radical feminist nonsense. I mean, but actually, they'd like a man to just go out of his way to stand up when a woman walks in the room, to open a door, to buy her flowers and roses. OK, there's a lot to unpack there. Um, <laughs> in, a, in a relationship, lots of people need to have both sides of it. But realistically, all humans need to be cared for sometimes. And there is a massive male mental health crisis in this country, which I genuinely believe is at least partially caused by the fact that we expect men to fulfil certain gender roles, being strong, being silent, Oh, what a providing. load of nonsense. Melinda, come on. I don't, I, in, I don't think that's anything to do with being a gentleman. I mean, I think in terms of being a gentleman, it's, it's about the qualities of kindness and respect and mm. thoughtfulness. You know, it's about thinking about another person. And, but as and Rebecca says, why should those qualities just be engendered by gentlemen. Well, they shouldn't. Those I mean, are they human are, qualities, they are human they? qualities. They're for all of us. And without it, we'd have a really cold, hard, disconnected world. At the end of the day, women are called the gentler sex. So... Which is a problem. Yes. Why? Because but, it's okay, the assumption so you that can't because be a you're female, you're a sex as a female, way. and you can't be a gentle man. I think, why not? We're, we're, let's all be gentle. The other day, let's there was a piece right. in The Guardian the other day, Penny, and it said that masculinity is now toxic. You're not allowed to, to actually... Praise masculinity. I guarantee you that's not what it said. What it's saying is that there are all sorts of Did you write of it? I can't remember. <laughs> Do you know, the, Guardian never, the Guardian never have me, if they're, if they're watching. Um, no, <laughs> so, too um, extreme even for them, that's why. <laughs> um, the, the reality is there are all sorts of qualities that are good and all sorts of qualities that are bad. What people like me believe is that they shouldn't be defined by what genitals you have. So just because you've got boy bits shouldn't mean that you're supposed to be aggressive and you're supposed to look after people. Not everyone... Are we allowed, are we not allowed to, to be, be masculine anymore? Yeah. I mean, yeah. seriously, can a, can a man not just occasionally be of course. a and man? You, you, want you, you want your men to be like that, well, not necessarily equal the quali in all I mean, things. Yeah, they, it, absolutely, and it doesn't mean that there's like a. It doesn't mean that there's a power disparity because you're uh, feminine or masculine. You know, they're they're both really wonderful things. They're both really necessary. They're both really vital. Uh, one isn't better than the other. But don't you agree that most people have masculine, uh, traditionally masculine and traditionally feminine qualities, regardless of their gender? Absolutely, but there's nothing wrong in embodying. And by the way, um, Rebecca, here's raw. the thing: we're different. Exactly. We right. celebrate our. Yeah. A report yes. came out yesterday saying that men and women were just different. But well, there's a you lot. Know? We there's, needed a report. There's a lot of research to suggest that we are, and there's a lot of research to suggest that social. That's the way we're raised, and we do. You do. No, know, it's not on, about the no, way we're the raised. The way that you raise the boys and girls. Born. I've had four kids. My three <laughs> sons wanted to play football all day and fight each other. Mm. My daughter wants to change frozen dresses eight times an hour. But right? how much of that they is how you raise her? They are and how much of that is biological? So Rebecca, this, Rebecca, I would say I am also a feminist. I do sometimes like just being looked after. Yeah. So do I, absolutely. I do make, you, and I make my husband do take the bins out. I do all sorts. You I... make your husband take the bins out. That's <laughs> your idea he of being likes a gentleman. taking the bins out. <laughs> That's <laughs> not my idea of being a gentleman. I like being looked after too. There's nothing wrong with wanting to be looked after, but you also should look after the person you're in a relationship with. That's yeah, exactly. fine. It should well, go both different. ways. That's fine. So then the woman should there be There are many a ways a woman sometimes. can look after a man. And thank oh, God for that. <laughs> Not a very your gentlemanly filthy thing to say. Your filthy mind to take in that sentence to places I never intended. <laughs>